stopping in. Just wanted to drop by and tell everybody that I'm still doing good. That I'm here in Washington. My family's here in Washington, including Derek. And things have been going really well lately, especially lately. You know, I still deal with life on life's terms. <clears throat> I still feel depressed at times where it's almost overwhelming. But I have to sit back sometimes, man, and just know that life's okay. Everything's going to be okay. As long as I don't use or do drugs, then I'm going to be just fine. Um, I definitely want to start jumping back on here, man, doing some more live streams for you guys because I feel that it helps hold me accountable. And I actually, like, I get excited when I think about it, man, because I used Man, I've been going back a while on this YouTube, you know, trying to get my shit together, and I never really could. And it was like a fucking train wreck. You just couldn't help but watch it. Eventually, something clicked in me, man. I felt... How do I say it? I, I, don't, I wouldn't even know how to explain it. What's up? Hello? Yeah, I just wanted to jump back on here, you guys, and show you that I'm still living, man. I still deal with bullshit, life on life's terms. I mean, we all do, but I'm still going, man. I'm still clean, I'm doing it. I just wanted to drop by, man. I'm gonna definitely start doing this more. Uh, kind of show you guys maybe like just how I live my life, I guess, the things that I do. I'm a big family guy, so I'm family orientated. I'm always around my family, stuff like that. Um, Yes. Yeah, Oscar, congratulations, bro. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I catch myself doing things like that I used to do when I was a kid. For instance, play video games, sk uh, skateboarding, riding bikes, you know, going to the river. I like to stay active. Me being bored and not doing nothing isn't good for anybody because, you know... Boredom really kind of fucked me up, man. I like to just be active and be doing something always. Um, and I'll tell you what, man. A big part of it that, that helped me. I know it's Alcoholics Anonymous, but I just look at it as like drugs anyways. But I really like the big book and uh, the stories in it with Bill. Yeah. Has anybody been doing their 12 steps? Has anybody done a 12-step program? Anybody? Years ago, I'm from the Ville, too. Oh, shit. Loki, for real? You're from the Ville, too? Damn. Yeah, but this, I'll have to say, man, going to meetings and talking to people, getting a sponsor, it was a big part of my recovery. And... And even till to this day, like if I have a moment where I feel like I'm going to go use, I told myself a long time ago, though, that if I'm going to go get hired, I was going to go to a meeting first and tell on myself. And that's what I would do. And so then they would make it where I couldn't go and get high because they fucking hang out with me the whole time to where I couldn't go and get loaded on drugs. Right. I guess I could say what I did is I just worked a program and I did it honestly and I had to surrender I did things that I didn't want to do, <clears throat> you know, when I didn't feel like going to a meeting, I had people around me that held me accountable. They go, hey, have you gone to a meeting? And it sucked for a while until it just became habit, routine, right? And I just stuck with it, man. Something blood. I just was so fortunate this time that it did, you know, a thousand is too many and one is never enough. That's so fucking true. Uh, after three and a half years clean it's it can happen so easily i could relapse today or tomorrow i mean you never know right what life has in store for you but that's why i find that going to meetings getting a sponsor and that type of thing is very key they say when you go to rehab as you know they're like we're here to teach you the tools and the things you need to be successful right and i always 
thought how irritating like what fucking tools you know first you get to rehab everybody's happy and shit right you see everybody joking around like they're glad they're there and i was always like the one that fucking didn't want to be there i don't want to talk to nobody i just was miserable right and i'm thinking great and i have to be here for another 30 fucking days blah 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 whatever it might have been but i'd have to say the thing that i did get from going to a rehab or a treatment center was to go to fucking meetings that was it. That was the only tool I learned. Yes, now there are things that help you try and – I guess really they want this to be ingrained in you so that when you do feel tempted or want to relapse, you have this to like tell yourself why you don't need to. And I mean <clears> – <throat> Yeah, the counselors, that's one thing that got me as well. Uh, James is the counselor trying to tell me how to be sober when they've never struggled with addiction a day in their life. 100%. Who the fuck are you to tell me to not do something? Like half of them can't even quit drinking coffee. You're going to tell me to quit doing dope. You know what I mean? That's, that's a good one, bro. I always felt the same way. But the uh, years, a few years ago, the last treatment center I went to, Derek sent me to my counselor struggled with addiction so he was in recovery which I thought was badass and that was like the only time I've ever had a counselor through my addiction you know what I'm saying tell me like that they had struggled with addiction and shit and so I thought that was pretty cool because that doesn't usually happen you always have some asshole sitting across from you that I feel like looks at you judging you wise like hey why do you do this and they don't understand why and they don't know that our brains are wired differently. What's up? How's it going? How's everybody doing though, man? Is everybody good? Still trucking? <laughs> Says view. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, but I've been uh I've been just living my life, man. Enjoying it. Trying to. Love you too. Appreciate it. Yeah, I just been, uh, I spend a lot of time with my kid. I'd say that's a big part of it. That helps me out big time. You know, I want to show her <clears throat> that uh, they say being smart is learning from your mistakes. But they call wisdom is like learning from others' mistakes. I just want to make sure she goes down the right path, man. She's 14 years old now, my oldest. God, she's a handful. Yes, sir. Appreciate it, Oscar. Thank you, bro. You know it, man. I'm still trucking, bro. I was like, yeah, I just wanted to stop by because I figured, man, I'm thinking I might start doing this again, bro. I'd love to be on, like, YouTube and do stuff like that full time and not have to do a normal 9 to 5, but... It's a lot, man. It's a lot. It would be nice, though. I'm thinking I might, like, do some other things with YouTube, man. Like, go on, like, traveling. I start traveling, go to mountains and shit, bro. I'm weird, bro. I want to hunt for Bigfoot and shit. You know what I mean? I want to <laughs> go UFO sighting and all that, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm into all that crazy stuff. You know, a lot of things that interest me that I just would like to dive into. It's just time or whatever that just gets in the way. And then I can't just disappear or go on a trip for two, three weeks. I got a 14-year-old that'll be like, where the hell you at, Dad? <laughs> so, but other than that, man, I just go to meetings, talk to my sponsor, work the 12 steps, which I did, and go day by day man i can't start future tripping I, I don't start thinking of the future what am i gonna do am i gonna always stay sober that's the wrong way to think about it dude because all you have is today tomorrow doesn't matter yesterday who gives a fuck all you have is right now and so that's it yeah she is half <laughs> of your curtains good to see you let me set the difference yeah thank you brandy i appreciate that mama thank you how much older is Derek? Derek's a year and three months older than me. Yep. A year and three months older. He's my big bro. Growing up, though, we were super tight. We were really close, always growing up. 
<clears throat> then I remember at one time when he started getting into girls and I was still young, didn't care. And I was playing video games and hanging out with my friends. He would start riding off on his bike in Puerto Rico. And I'd be like, where the fuck's he going? Because usually he'd be like, hey, let's go. But then he started going off by himself a little bit. And I was thinking, man, I felt like, like jealous. Like my brother's leaving me when I was a kid. And I remember like, why wouldn't he bring me to go play truth or dare? Right. Cause I was the little brother in his eyes. So I don't know. Eventually I, I got older and then started getting involved and shit, whatever. But we had some good times. We were always really close though. Always. Damn, year and a month? That's even closer, bro. Shit. I appreciate I feel happy and healthy. I feel great, actually. I feel really good. It's been a while, man. It's been a while. I don't even count how much time I have. I don't I don't like to do it. I just I try to like keep it simple, stupid. You know what I'm saying? You ever heard that expression? Keep it stupid, simple, or whatever. That's how I try to do it, and I'll just, I'll read comic books, I'll, look, I'll show you, bro, look, I, I pulled something the other day, check this out. So I was like, randomly just bought me a pack of Pokemon cards, and it pulled a fucking Charizard, dude. I was like, no fucking way. Isn't that crazy? And then I also... I'm a nerd, you guys. I don't know if y'all know. I read some Rick and Morty graphic novels. Some comic book stuff. This is the stuff that I do. That I occupy my time with now. And it... It's, I find I, I, I love it, man. I love getting into, like, this stuff and reading it. Shit. I have an idea. I'd love to make a comic book. If I could use the characters that were already made, though, that'd be even doper. Though. Then having to make them up all up and shit, that's a lot. That's quite a bit. Yep. Nerds <laughs> are the best. I am a nerd for sure. It's hard, man. Staying clean is hard. It's, it's rough. That first year was the worst. The worst. What's up, Brian? It was by far the worst, man. But it gets... Uh, sounds so cliche, I know. It gets so much better. Just stick with it. It's hard. I know it's fucking so difficult, man. It took a miracle to, to happen what happened to me. The opposite of addiction is connection. I like that. You're absolutely right. You cannot stay sober and clean by yourself. You can try a thousand times. You're going to fail a thousand times. It's that network that you build with those people that, that know you well, that can hold you accountable. And there was a test, a study they did. I'm sure most of you guys know this, but they did a rat experiment where they put a single rat in a cage with drug water and then a few rats in a cage with a bunch of drug water. Well, they did an even better one. So they have that single rat every time the rat would go to the water and drink it until it would die, right? But instead of the other cage, they basically called it Rat Park and they built like an amusement park for a bunch of rats where they had all the food and water and drink that they wanted. And every time the, they would... They realized that the rats that were together that had somebody around them and stuff, 99% of the time, they stayed away from the drug water. They didn't touch it. The rat in the single one would uh, die every time. So, yeah, we absolutely need each other. It's, it's so important that we have each other in recovery. And it's I'd be, that's the only reason I've been clean, staying sober and doing the things that I've been doing was because of the people that I surrounded myself with, including my older brother. And it's like, as a matter of fact, after this, like when I get off of here from you guys, I'm going to go kick it with my big bro and see what he's doing today. So it's super important that you have good people surrounding you. If you think that you're going to get sober hanging out with people who are using, you're wrong. It's not going to happen. I'm sorry, but I mean, I'm sure they mean well and you mean well at first, but you can't, you know, eat bananas in front of a monkey. 
you know, eventually they're going to start eating the bananas too. That's the truth. Glad to see you. Wow, they banned internet? Highly recommend it. I kicked everyone out of my life when I was still getting high because I didn't want anyone to know. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. <clears throat> Tonight's my nephew's birthday party. And they're going to be drinking and going ham. I already know it. It's his birthday. You know, he's 22 now or 23. So he's still at the age, you know. But um, I'm going to go. I'm going to kick it. And then come home. My kid will be there too, so.